Hey there, Internet. We're about to take off from our last stop in Russia and head to the Beluga Lake in Alaska. I haven't bothered to bother you with the refueling or the taxiing. We're just sitting on the runway. But we need to open up air traffic control. And we're going to be heading to the east, so east. Pretty taxi. I'm on the runway. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Time to take off. And if you're hearing a little bit of an echo, it's because I'm not bothering to wear the uh, earbuds on the flight simulator. Because i got to get up, walk around while it's it's flying to the halfway across the world you know, on autopilot. So I don't feel like taking the headset on and off. I want to be able to hear things. So. We're sliding, we're sliding, but we're airborne. Yay! It's a little windy. Not horrible, but it's a little windy. I don't know if there's a wind sock or a way to look that up. I mean, I, I loaded current weather, but I didn't bother to uh, look at what the, what the weather really was. I just, okay, it's updated, it's different. You would stop to look to see what is there anything crap. Well, we are flying manually right now. Want to make sure there's no freaking mountains or shit that I gotta circumnavigate or whatever you want to call it. Let's see. Ooh, look at all the trees. Gotta go up. Oh, to switch the, the yoke to my left hand. Autopilot, nav, alt. And I should be able to let go of the stick. Ah, it's making a hard bank to the, to the line. Oh, but we are good. Okay, if you look over here, look at that. Um, is that sun coming up? Like the sun right? Wait, that... <laughs> We're heading east. Ah, that's... Uh, yeah, the sun's coming up. Cool. It's like quarter after 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is whatever time it is here locally in game. So this is realistic. This is where the sun would be if you were here while we were well, while we were recording this. Holy crap! The jet lag is getting to me. We might be able to see the uh, ground to the left for a while. But pretty soon we're gonna be it's good we're gonna be over the ocean feet wet for until we hit Alaska here pretty soon. And if you look there, we are leaving Russia. Technically going to be over Russian water and airspace for a while, but there's the ground. There's the ocean. Oh boy. Eh, if we crash, we're in a float plane. We'll just starve to death. <laughs> ah, we should be fine. Well, as you can see, here is Alaska. The outer edge of it. <laughs> I'd show you on the map where it is, but it's... Eh. We're confined. It's all snow. It is winter time. It's November 2nd. I'm hoping that blew the lake. I, I believe it's fresh water, and hopefully it isn't frozen. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I don't think I've ever tested that in this game, to see if water freezes in the winter, but... <sighs> if it's not, we'll just pretend that that's not a thing. But if you notice, it's, get, it's darker than it was! We are actually outrunning the sun. Somehow. I'm surprised we're able to do that this far north. Uh, but yes, we are outrunning the sun. We are estimated 2 hours and 42 minutes away from entry. I don't know how many miles. Does it say distance? 442 nautical miles out. We have 93 gallons. And I do have the carb heat turned on because the carbs are getting cold. That is helping with fuel consumption, which is... I don't know why that is. I should know why we use less fuel when the carb heat's on. But whatever. <laughs> also lose a little bit of power. Must uh, choke the fuel down a little. But here we go. We're about 40 minutes out, 102 miles. We're on manual heading now. I had to adjust the course. 
You can see all those mountains. It's kind of crazy, actually. I was hoping we'd be landing there in the day. But, oh well, what you gonna do? Start descending a little bit. Those mountains are a little creepy. Um, a little high. We're going to be crossing the inlet in probably 50 miles or so. Once we clear these mountains, um, over there is an anchorage over those mountains a ways. But once we get uh, across these mountains hit and hit the uh, inlet, I'll be able to drop uh, altitude and we'll go from there. I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> There's those mountains. God damn, some of these are. We're at 10,000 feet. Hit the B button. Yeah, we're at 10,000 feet. Some of these mountains are freaking high. We should clear them though. It looks like we're gonna clear them. There's, there's something way off there. I'm gonna have to stand up in my chair. My desk isn't, my monitors aren't exactly the perfect height. There is a peak up there ahead of us. Hopefully we don't have to fly around that. But <laughs> we'll see. Here we are, finally cleared that mountain range. Kind of see some stuff down there. Here's the inlet. Probably can't see the landmass on the other side, but I just know from doing this that it's pretty flat over there. On the other side, there's uh, it's pretty low, pretty level. So what we're going to do is we are going to descend. We're going to cut it our altitude in half. If for some reason um, you get a little close to something, I'll bump it back up. Whoa, wind shear! <laughs> what? We're coming down over the inlet, Alaska. It's hard to see with the clouds. I wish this was in the daytime, but we're doing it as if it was real, so I don't want to screw with that too much. And we're coming in. I'm using the GPS because it's really hard to see. This looks like it's not exactly where I thought it was. <laughs> Maybe it is. That's Homer. And it's raining. But here we go. Autopilot off. Touch of flaps. Slow us way the hell down. That's down. That's down. Okay. Apparently there's no air traffic control. Oh, there's a runway. There's the lake. Okay, I see it. I see it. Oh, we got some wind shear though. Holy crap on, on a stick. Yeah, that little white dot there next to that lake to the left of the uh, airport. That's the lake we're going to be landing at. That's Beluga Lake. This is not going to be an easy landing. Just inside that little inlet, there's a road that goes through there. My aunt and them live just a little bit up to the left in the mountains there. I've actually driven through here a few times. I've got out in that inlet to the right. That's where the Salty Dog uh, Bar is in the old lighthouse. Got on a boat out of this uh, inlet before. Turned the car heat off a little bit. And yeah, it doesn't need to be on anyway anymore. A little extra RPM, a little extra revs if we need it. That's why I wanted to do this during the day. This is a small lake and landing on it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> so... We should be okay though. It's a little windy though. A little more than I'd like, but we'll make it at work. I don't want to come in too hot. Too steep of an approach, so let's drop some altitude. Probably didn't have to go full flaps yet. I thought I was closer than I was, but... I've watched planes land in the water here in the summertime, in real life. A little jaunt, that little road with the thing that goes across the middle of the lake there, that's a road. Yep, you're starting to see it. You can see it now. Got a bombardier land, Learjet landing at the uh, airport. They're taking off. <laughs> it's this little lake we get to land on. And it isn't frozen, so we're good there.
We landed! Woo! Not 100% sure why uh, landing so freaking violent. It usually isn't. Came in a little hot, but there's the buoy. Don't have brakes on the water, so. <laughs> there we go, all shut down and nice. Flaps aren't up yet. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Beluga Lake in Homer, Alaska. I would fly right up to the edge of the uh, shore. Yeah, it's like we're really going to stop, you know, and all that fun stuff. But I don't want to fuck the plane up, so just assume we're doing that. But until then, uh, that's it. We're in America. Although we're going to be landing in Canada after this. But till then, here we go. Beluga Lake, Alaska. Till then, see you guys on the flip side. Mm -hmm.